Hi, it's my birthday today, so I thought, why not celebrate by trying something new? So here I am recording my first ever video blog. This is quite a big deal for me because, firstly, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. In fact, I think this is about my hundredth attempt at recording this, and I still don't think I'm going to get it right. Secondly, I'm a lot more camera shy than I thought I would be as well. In fact, when I sat in front of this laptop for the first time, I froze, which surprises me because growing up, I was aspiring to be the first ever disabled Blue Peter presenter. But thirdly, and most importantly, it marks the end of a very, very long and emotional journey for me, which started just over 18 months ago, when one morning I woke up, looked in the mirror and noticed that my bottom lip had doubled in size overnight. The left side of my face had also started swelling up. As you can imagine, I was really frightened not knowing what was wrong with me. But just as badly, I felt very, very ugly. I just wanted to hide behind my duvet and never leave the house ever again because my looks had changed overnight. Thankfully, under the care of some fantastic doctors at the Eastman Dental Hospital, I received a diagnosis relatively quickly of a condition that affects the, your immune system, which I won't attempt to pronounce because I will just embarrass myself, but abbreviated is known as OFG. Unfortunately, there is no quick fix for this condition. And um, the doctors started treating me by putting me on an extremely restrictive diet. In fact, I remember receiving the diet sheet from my doctors and my heart sinking, thinking, oh my God, there's absolutely nothing on this list that I can eat. At that point, I could have done two things. I could have either just gone and buried myself under that duvet and never come out and let the condition just take over. Or I, the second route, which is the one I chose to go down, was to use it as an opportunity to reinvent my entire menu because granted I'd been stuck in a bit of a food rut and was bored of eating the same meals every evening. So out came the rest, new recipe books and there I was. And another positive thing to take away from all of this was that I was also given permission to go shopping because unfortunately all the makeup that I was using was no longer um, safe for me to use. So. I, many hours were spent at the makeup counter at my local department store where I stocked up on all new shiny products, which was very exciting. Thankfully, having been on the diet for now many, many months, I do feel that I'm slowly beginning to look normal again. And as you'll see, I've got my favourite red lipstick on, which I hope you like. Believe me, this time 18 months ago, the last thing I would have wanted to do was to draw attention to my lips. So this is a massive you know, sign of progress for me. So, what else am I going to talk about during these recordings? Well, as you would expect, many of my video blogs will focus on all things careers related, um, followers, of course, and that will include everything from advising students on how to prepare for training contract applications and assessment days through to um, Tops, uh, sorry, top tips for more senior lawyers who are perhaps thinking of a potential career change. But I also want to use my video blog to talk about some of the other issues affecting the legal se sector that really interest me. Firstly, that's social mobility. For those of you who don't know me, I was the first person in my family to go to university. Um, so anything that, you know, any initiatives that go about making the legal sector more diverse are, of course, you know, of deep interest to me. I'm also, as I've already mentioned, you know, I suffer from a disability. I have rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I have done so since I was nine years old. I turned 45 today, so that's many, many years of living with a condition that is, um, you know, complex and uh, extremely painful. And my feeling is that by talking openly about disability and living with arthritis will hopefully educate and inform but also I hope inspire those of you who are perhaps listening to this feeling overwhelmed by 
a negative change that's occurring in your life at the moment, whether that's, you know, sudden or forced or, you know, unexpected, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. The point is that I hope that by listening to some of my blogs, you'll be able to tap into those all important inner resources and come up with some action plans that will help you move forward positively. Anyway, that's what I'm going to say today, because as I said, it, it is my first attempt and I don't want to sort of get carried away with myself. Plus, I'm hoping that my husband will take me out for a lovely meal to celebrate um, me officially entering into my mid-40s. Thank you very much for listening.